Escort Express. And one of the nice features about this, I used to have the Airport Extreme, uh, the time capsule, all that. I've removed it because, you know, they stopped supporting it. I don't know if they still update them. I actually only use this and I never get an update uh, request from it. But I used to have all that. Now I'm just using this to make my USB printer wireless or part of the network, I should say. This is an, you can, you can make this a router. You could also make it an access point. You could actually stick speakers to it and send music to it. Um, you have to, I think use iTunes, I'm not sure. But the way I configure this actual device is, this is what I do. This is my Dymo printer. My Dymo label writer. And it's a USB one. No Wi-Fi, no nothing, it's a USB. And I have it connected all the way at the bottom there. I can't get to it to one of those Airport Express. I have it connected. And then what I do is once I plug it into an outlet, I plug in the printer to, to the USB port. Then I plug in the power to, to power the Airport Express plus the, I plug in the printer. We're at the Airport Utilities app. And what you do is you first go to Airport and then you, your wireless mode will be to join a wireless network. Again, I'm not gonna mess this up. I already got it configured and I'm not going to uh, do anything to cause me to have to troubleshoot anything, I'm sorry. But what I did was I joined a wireless network, which I did already. This is my wireless network. Within here, when you click on this, you'll see a bunch of wireless networks come up and you, you choose yours. And then you put in the wireless password, you verify the password and the security. Once you do that, you have joined the network. Now let's go to the printer option. Here are the printers, and within printers, you can actually add, like, like I did, the USB printer. You can say there's a printer in there. I'm not gonna re reconfigure this. I'm just sharing my information with you. It's already done on the printers. It'll allow you to add a printer. And it works really, really well. And I have been using it for years because I was not happy having a USB printer directly connected to a computer when I needed it on other computers. I didn't want to move it around. So this made it easier. Anyone on the network could use it. When I do go to the add a printer, this is Windows 11. When I went to the add a printer, uh, the device did not come up. So I had to do what was called TCP IP. And within the configuration, when you log in, to the Airport Express, I usually give that a static IP address. And then I come here to add a printer and what I do is it'll go through, it's looking through for a printer, it won't find it. You give it a static IP, make sure nothing on the network is using that IP address. Then you do printer, is it listed? And you choose here, IP address, and then you type in the once you click on that, you click next, and then you put in the IP address. I choose TCP IP devices, put the host name or IP, I put the IP address, and um, you continue the configuration. It's already configured, so it's there. But you put in the IP address, the software will find it, then you install the drivers, and you have a network printer. Sorry, I'm not going through step by step since I already did it. I don't want to mess it up and get frustrated on having to do it again. Just wanted to share that information that you can use this device, which ranges between $10 and $20, to make any USB printer that you may have, like a Dymo, like I do, into a network printer. Wirelessly connect to it. Um, I even connect to it using my iPad.
All right, I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.